Hey y'all, it's your girl Tahira. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I recently started a new part-time job. And when I say recently y'all, I mean like literally like two days ago. So it's Monday and I started it on Saturday. Um, what I do is I deliver groceries for Walmart um, under the Spark Driver app. I'm going to leave um, the website in the description box below if you guys finish this video and decide it's something that you want to do. Um, but while I am waiting, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys what I think so far from like a beginner perspective um, and just some vlog how to how to navigate the app, um, how to you know accept offers, how to basically get started. And again, what it's like so far on day two of my part-time job. But before we jump into it, of course, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and list any comments or questions that you may have in the comment section below, and I will be sure to answer them. Let's get right into the video. wait um, for the next order to come in I'm going to go ahead and give you guys just some basics starting off with the company which is spark drivers so you don't apply through the Walmart app um, I think there are a lot of different you know apps out there that you can apply through like instacart whatever what you need to get started of course is a vehicle um, a reliable vehicle the vehicle that you register when you submit the application is the vehicle um, that I recommend that you use for your trips because they are going to base your orders on the type of vehicle that you submit during your application. So Walmart isn't going to give me um, orders in which like I have to like deliver like big mattresses or something like that because I didn't select my truck. I selected my Honda. So they're gonna give me orders appropriate for maneuvering in my Honda, okay? So number one is the vehicle. Number two is a valid driver's license. It has to be valid, it cannot be expired. Um, and number three is insurance. You need insurance because you're gonna have to upload proof of your insurance on the um, application. So you're gonna have to upload proof, proof of insurance and you're going to have to upload proof of, um, and like a picture of your driver's license. Um, but the whole application process was super, super easy. It's like one page, two pages or something like that. It's self-explanatory, everything is done online. Um, and it gives you about, I feel like it took about maybe like five days or something for them to like approve me. Um, after your application is approved, you go ahead, um, download the app. Um, if you have like a referral code from someone, go ahead and enter that referral code as soon as you sign into the app because you and that driver who referred you will receive a hundred dollar bonus after you complete, I think, 10 orders. But yeah, now I'm just waiting on an offer to come in and once the offer comes in, I will go ahead and walk you guys through how to actually navigate the app and how everything works on the Spark Driver app. So this is what the Spark Driver app looks like and I'm going to open her up and zoom in so you guys can see what the bottom screen looks like. So you see it says home, trips, earnings, notifications, and then more. If you click on more, this is where you would see the settings and the frequently asked questions. But coming back to the home screen, um, you will see that it says proximity to hotspots will have a better chance of getting more offers if you turn on the Spark driver. So that's what I did, turn on the Spark now, and then you can have the option to choose on how long you will receive offers until your certain time frame in which you don't wanna drive anymore. But now we're back at the home page and you see at the bottom where it says trips. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, so when an order or an offer becomes available, it's going to show up under the offers tab. Um, the ones that you have accepted, of course, or that you are currently in a process of delivering are going to be under accepted. And then after you complete that, um, it's going to be under your completed orders. So as you can see, I completed some on Saturday and then some on today. 
Um, the $33 one that you see at the bottom, um, that was eight orders within one trip. So eight different, so I picked up eight different orders and then just delivered them all at one time. So that's why that that amount was so much. Um, and then, yeah, the rest of these were either two orders or one order. Okay, so now I'm going to click on earnings so that we can see how much I've been getting paid. And you'll see all of your statements for however long you've been doing it. Um, I'm going to click on for a last week statements, which would have fallen on that Saturday. And then once you click on that, it'll give you a full breakdown of all of the earnings that you made, including tips for that particular week. Um, and then if you click on the estimated payout, it gives you a breakdown of your earnings for your actual deliveries, the amount of tips, and then the amount of bonuses. But you don't get paid um, through the actual Spark app. You get paid on what they call branch. So once you download the Spark app and do you know the FAQs, it's going to tell you to download the branch app. Um, and then they're going to send you a branch card. And this is where all of your funds or your payouts will show. As you can see, I ordered my card and it's on the way. I'm just waiting for it to arrive. But now we're going back into the Spark app, 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 excuse me, and I'm going to click on more and then I'm going to click on the bonus programs. So not every single day, but often um, Spark will have a bonus program. And as you can see today, I'm getting five additional dollars for each order. Um, it's the Labor Day special or Labor Day bonus, but I am taking full advantage of it. Um, I've done three orders so far, so I'm getting paid $15 extra on top of those orders and on top of those tips. So an offer just came in that I accepted, so it's going to transfer from offers and now it will show up under my accepted tab. The app tells you which location you are picking it up from and it tells you what time the order should be ready. Now, if you try to start the trip early or too soon, it's not going to allow you and then you'll just click start this trip later. So the order is ready to be picked up. So I am going to slide this little bar over and confirm arrival. Now I'm just waiting on the associates to bring out the groceries. And then once they do bring out the groceries, I will slide the button um, to say start the delivery. And then, um, and I'm sorry, y'all, I have it zoomed in just so that you guys won't see the customer's address. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to click start delivery and then it's going to take me to the screen where they have um, the directions or the drop off directions from that particular customer. And then I click the little blue navigation bar and then it will take me to my maps and then that's how I get to their location. So I have arrived, so I'm going to slide over the button for the at delivery location. It's going to show me all of the delivery instructions and the reminders for no contact delivery. And now I'm going to place all of her belongings on her porch. So after you're done delivering, you have to take a picture um, of the groceries like on their porch for like proof of delivery. And that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm done. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, after I hit confirm delivery, um, it asked me to rate my delivery experience. Um, I usually always give it a thumbs up. I haven't had any issues with delivering so far. Um, the pay is pretty much good. I mean, the only thing right now is just waiting for orders to come in or waiting for offers to come in. Um, I don't receive a whole lot of offers. I probably receive one, I'm gonna say like every hour. Um, but I'm getting at least 15 to $20 for each offer plus the tip. So, I mean, that's a lot of money to make each hour, but, um, it's just a lot of lag time. So that's the only con that I would give it. It's just a lot of lag time. Okay. So one of the tips that I did want to give you guys, um, was to go ahead and accept the offer, even if the time looks like it's going to be far away. Because if you are in like a lag city like I am, um, where like not a lot of orders come in within that time frame, um, you don't want to just be sitting here waiting on the next order, hoping that another order or, you know, hoping that another offer comes through. So now with that being said, if you do accept that offer, you will not be given another offer within 
that delivery time frame. So if I accept the order for seven o'clock, I'm not going to receive any orders up until seven o'clock through my delivery. So you have to finish that delivery before you are given another order. I hope that makes sense. I'm, I'm sorry, before you are giving another offer. And you can also take a look at your zones, like highest, um, highest order times or delivery times. And then you can kind of gauge on when you should go out and do your orders as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it was. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you probably are going to do to get a little extra money in your pocket. Remember, Christmas is right around the corner. So you want to be pre Sorry, guys. <laughs> so you want to be prepared now. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. All of the links um, related to this video will be in the description box below. And come back and see me next time. Peace.